this is an awesome school. This is a school that is looking forward and trying to go forward every single day. If you know the whole and you know the fraction and you're looking for the part, there's two number models that you need. Every year turn out more and more students who are succeeding and can be a viable part of our awesome city. What two math operations are we doing? It's successful school, uh, constant A's on their report card, uh, it's well run, and it's just a pleasure coming in here. What makes PS226 so great are the teachers that work here. Everyone works collaboratively together, making sure that every child in the school is learning, is engaged, gets the very best that they need. Object at rest will remain at rest unless, unless someone... All right, Cameron, give me a force. Come here. Right, ready? All right, now. Push. Right? What happens? You hit, you hit the wall, and then the wall gets back. The wall bounces me back? Mm -hmm. No, you bounce. Now, what law is that in Newton? Motion uh, occurs in equal and opposite pairs. This will also be. Do you see the motion sensor? The motion sensor detected the speed, and when it decreased back and forth, that was recorded as well. So there can be negative acceleration too, which means that it went back down and then went back up because the force was still present while we were hitting it towards the ramp. What's unique about this school is the diversity, and we actually have 16 different languages spoken in the school. I feel as though I'm in like the United Nations. And I find because they're coming from so many different places with so many different backgrounds, that they bring to the table so much, but they also need so much, and that's my challenge. But it is slick. 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 I teach students who come here with no language, some language, a little bit. We have to meet them wherever they are. And that's the difference I feel that I'm making is that being prepared and enthusiastic and um, ready to meet their needs, whatever they may be. So most of our lesson plans is not just one straightforward lesson, but many lessons all related to that one key concept that's being taught. So th that's very successful. What's the definition of communal living? I also spent uh, many years living in the Middle East and I lived among different cultures and I, I use that to my advantage especially with Arabic students uh, relating to customs and their food and their holidays so they're kind of taken aback that you know Mr. H how do you know so much about my culture it just, it just closes the gap. We get new students, we learn another language, we learn another culture from each other, and it makes the school a very special place. They practically see everybody from kindergarten through grade eight. I really help them figure out what they like in books, and that's what I think we instill in the children in this school, a love of reading, and they want to read on their own, and it's evident in our scores. Who can tell me what the main idea of the story is? It's Amir. Mostly about the story. What the story is? Mostly about. Mostly about. We try to uh, basically differentiate our instruction so that you, as the outsider, cannot tell who is uh, a student with special needs and who is not. Who would like to tell us what the main idea is? Ashley, do you know which one the main idea is? Can you read it? You know, we have Ashley. It is evident that she has some uh, mobility issues. Excellent. And can you put that into the graphic organizer in the correct place? Uh, for her, we noticed that it was a little painstaking because she couldn't come to the board and, you know, manipulate the lessons the way the other kids can. And with this slate, she was able to come to the board without really leaving her chair. So, and she loves there to practice, go. and she actually corrects other people to use um, the, the smart board. Who is Pam? Pam. 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 She also has 
flourished so much because of the technology. For me, she has made such great progress and seeing the light in her eyes that she's able to do something that the other kids can do, you know, it, it's a big gift. Um, the agenda for today, I'm gonna show you guys the magic pen. The smart board training, it's done on our own time. Our desire to do the job and do it well gets us to a place like that where even one little tip or one little trick that makes my day easier and I can grab one more student and get them to understand one more question, that's the reason why we go there. There's lots and lots of collaboration going on. Um, you can even notice in the illustration that the student labeled the toothbrush, the sink, even himself. Very great linking what he was writing to the illustration. So today we're going to take a look at um, a student writing. You're seeing teachers who are engaged in the inquiry process looking at student data so that they can analyze it, find trends and patterns, and then think of skills and strategies in order to improve student achievement, but ultimately improve teacher practice. So this is the first concert for a middle school, and man, look beautiful. I think that my principal is an awesome principal. She has an open-door policy, which I love. You say, this is not working, you know, or we need this to make it work, and it gets done. I hope that everyone feels supportive because I do try to do my best to do that. I think that that's my job. You know, happy teachers make happy children. It's a fun place to be because we're in it together and it feels good to be able to know that we have support and we have one another so that we can feel good about coming to work each and every day. My whole being from 7 a.m. till I leave the building at whatever time that may be is about students. How do so I equip this child to be this productive citizen? I think a public education is what this country is founded on. To give a free education to every student who comes in the door, no matter what their level of education prior or, or what their needs are at the moment. I can't tell you how much has to go into these kids. Whatever we put in will come out as the final product. And Right now, I see polished diamonds coming out of this school.